30 rupees for adults, children 10. Here we are at the main gate to the botanical garden and boy is it beautiful. It has that 1800s feel, very like Victorian with Roth iron and just like really beautiful entrance. All right, botanical garden and actual flowers that are blooming. The event you're not aware of the history of the garden, it started in 1760 with Haider Ali, who was a Mughal ruler. Actually started in the 1700s, he wanted to make this into a Mughal garden, which was becoming popular at the time. Here's a statue of him that represents the founder of the garden. Anna is in bloom here because it's so warm. That's pretty. I'm a little early, but they're lining the pathways with flowers. I can imagine in a few weeks how pretty that's going to be around here. Here's a real treat of this park. There is a petrified tree, a fossil, just sitting out here in the open. It's amazing. So this tree fossil is a collection from the National Fossil Park. It's supposed to be 20 million years old. It's really pretty the way they designed this and surrounded it with flowers. It really is a highlight. Just around the corner is a whole garden of sculptured animals. I think they've just recently started this, so they're not exactly animal form yet, but they're working on it. And I can imagine how pretty it's going to be. And those huge trees in the background just look like roller coasters to me, don't they? And for me, this tree, which was said to be one of the first planted over 200 years ago, is really the highlight of the park. Look at the span of this. Look how gorgeous this tree is. I mean, it is huge. There are a couple people sitting underneath it and the span of it is just so wide and so tall. Imagine the things this tree could tell us. In most places in India, you're gonna find monkeys here. So if you come, make sure your purse and wallet are securely tight because they will take them. There is this beautiful pond that goes around much of the back portion of the park. And it's gorgeous. You can walk around it, they have a walking path. And there's actually fish that you can see inside there. It's just lovely with the reflection, how beautiful. happy and excited to see this poinsettia tree that actually grows to about 15 feet tall. Amazing. I just had to highlight this. I cannot believe the size of this palm tree. I mean, those fronds are about 20 foot span with the trunk being so small. If anyone knows what kind of palm this is, please note below.
And it is worth noting that they do have a rose garden here, a formal rose garden. It's gonna be gorgeous. The buds were just starting to come out. I can imagine in a few weeks how pretty it's going to be. They also have growing grounds where they fill the park with flowers. They grow them themselves. Highlight of the park is the glass house that was built in 1889. It's really a highlight, but I'm not sure it's gonna be viewable. I think it's being restored or something that they have locked it off. this <laughs> Oh, let's see. Maybe they're preparing it. I see some of those Hawaiian pineapple plants. Oh, what's going on? Maybe they're doing an exhibition soon and preparing it. Yeah, they are preparing it for an exhibition. I can see the flowers in the corner. This will soon be filled with flowers. I bet it'll be a flower show. Here's those Hawaiian flowers. Nice. So often you come across these beautiful flowers like these bougainvillea. It's amazing to see these trees from all over the world, Norfolk Island pine and eucalyptus and you know all sorts of just flora and fauna from all over the world. <clears throat> Here's a graph of um, the park. It's huge. If you get an opportunity, go spend the afternoon there. There's also this great geological feature that is 3,000 million years old, they say. You have to check it out. It's amazing. I hope you enjoyed Labak Botanical Garden here in Bangalore. Just a brief visit, but wanted to show you how beautiful it is. So thanks for watching and like and subscribe. See you soon.